What's going on guys? Sean Don is back for Throws University. This time coming at you with this week's <clears throat> hammer tip, Sean Don knowledge bomb of the week. What I want to talk about today is uh, posture. Something that I think a lot of people do really, really bad. What, what most people do wrong regarding posture is uh, mostly pertaining to their hips and their torso. So bad posture being sitting your hips back and having your chest come forwards, having uh, this forward lean, if you will. I call this kind of like a back squat position because if you think about it, when you're squatting with a bar on your back as you would in a back squat, you kind of push your butt back, your chest comes forwards, and your head kind of comes down like this. That is not good posture. We'll go over why in a second here. What is good posture is like kind of the opposite of that, a front squat position. All right, so what you want to do is take about a shoulder width stance, you want to have your hips directly underneath your torso. You want to bend your knees as much as possible. All right, so this is all I can do with keeping my hips underneath my shoulders, keeping my torso in a straight line. This is where this pull comes in handy. Torso is perfectly upright, hips are underneath shoulders, shoulders over hips. Bend my knees as much as possible. This is all I got because I have bad ankle range of motion. The big key thing here though is, and it's hard to tell, look at my butt, okay? This is posterior pelvic tilt. You can see I'm squeezing my glutes actively. My hips are going forwards. I'm kind of tucking my hips forwards. I don't know how else to explain it. That is probably the most key aspect of this whole position. So if you have really tight hip flexors or really poor ankle mobility or your glutes don't work right, doing this posterior pelvic tilt is very hard to uh, accomplish. Otherwise though, what most people do wrong, what is associated with this bad back squat sort of posture is anterior pelvic tilt. So once again, I can be perfectly upright with my torso, but my hips are still anteriorly tilted. I feel a lot of tension and pressure in my lower back because my erectors are squeezing my hips into this anterior position. Once again, this contributes to bad postures. You can be upright, but still have anterior pelvic tilt when we want you to be upright, torso upright, posterior pelvic tilt, hips forwards, tucked forwards, glutes squeezed, engaged. Okay. So that's kind of the big thing regarding posture. Why is the bent over, chest forward, hips back, back squat posture bad? Because once you get into this bent over position, I don't even need the stick anymore. Once you get over into this bent over position, all right, what tends to happen is as the hammer goes left, your hips and everything is gonna shift back onto this right leg because with this hip back posture, with your anterior pelvic tilt, with your hips backwards, shoulders forwards, it makes it really hard to use your right leg effectively. And you kind of need to think of it like a clean and jerk or a snatch, all right? You want this triple extension. As you come through on your final pull, your hips come forwards and you extend at the hip, knee, and ankle to pull. It's kind of like that in the hammer as well. Not exactly because obviously the hammer is farther away from your body, but that being said, you can't transfer force effectively up through the ground if your hips are backwards. That's why the whole posterior pelvic tilt, your hips forwards, your torso more upright stuff is important. If you catch with your right hip forwards, all right, just like this, left shoulder back over this left side. I talk about this in a lot of my technical analysis videos. If you catch with this right hip forwards, your power is already being transferred up the kinetic chain into your torso through your upper body into the hammer. Like I said, that right hip needs to be forwards for this right leg to be able to be used effectively. That's ultimately why good posture is important in the hammer throw. I think that's it. I covered it all. So if you want to throw farther, if you want to have a more stable left side axis, if you want to have a more efficient throw in general, work on your posture. Posterior pelvic tilt, front squat position, hips forwards, bent knees, torso upright and stable. Use that right leg. That covers everything. Sean Don from Throws You, peacing out. If you guys want a technical analysis done by yours truly so I can examine your posture, hit me up and let's get to work and help you start setting some PRs because it's about that time of the year when all that stuff matters. Peace out.